It is judgment day for a Schuylkill County man whose federal prosecutors describe as a one man crime wave. Right now, a jury is deciding the fate of 28 year old Sean Christie. Lead I team reporter Andy Mahalshik joins us from federal court in Scranton. Andy. Well, good morning, Kelly. The jury began its deliberations just after 10 o'clock this morning. But first, the judge presiding over the case charged that jury, basically explaining the 11 counts against Sean Christie and what they have to find in those counts, the legal elements to find him guilty or not guilty. Let me show you some video taken, and many of us have seen these images now for quite some time in the manhunt for Sean Christie. Six, six state and Canadian manhunt three months long. It all began in McAdoo in June of 2018 when the FBI says Christie posted on social media Facebook threats against President Trump and other public officials. That, they say, led to a three-month odyssey of crime. Christie allegedly stole vehicles, guns, and broke into homes and businesses. He was captured on September 21st of 2018 near Mansfield, Ohio. Now, Christie, who is representing himself, insisted all along that he's been the target of a corrupt judicial system. Now, tensions ran high several times during this trial between the lead federal prosecutor, Fran Sempa, and Christie. But right now, the jury now deciding his fate. Again, they're in behind closed doors for just over an hour. We'll have much more with live reports throughout the day. And, of course, breaking news. We're going to stream it live on PAHomepage.com. Reporting live outside federal court in downtown Scranton, Andy Mahal, Chicago Witness News. Kelly? Andy's been following the story since the beginning. Andy, thank you.